Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. He's almost giving you the feeling here that he's completely indifferent to all the pressure. I mean, this is a guy that's been there, done that, and he couldn't care less about the pressures that are in front of him. The Beast now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Good, effective work with that straight right hand. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Good defensive skill. Flush shot, the left hand came in. to that one that was a solid uppercut halfway through this round here early on in this fight one of the things I'm gonna look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively who can do it all with all their punches well you look for that in any sport in any profession you know you look at a quarterback you know in football the great ones they can throw deep but they can throw the short patterns they can throw the out the in patterns same thing with a fighter left hand upstairs he clearly came in with a strategy here tonight Teddy and so many times it's hey I'm gonna bang that drum yeah he is banging that drum that drum happens to be the body and he figures that he's gonna try to move on him so start doing it early on and later on he's gonna have a guy in front of him there's that overhand right yes. 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 Just like that. Another there round okay. like that. But he doesn't like those body shots. He doesn't like that kid, okay? Keep working. Relax, relax. All right, just let it go, all right? You're taking a beat. Now, come on. What's going on? We need to win more rounds, right? We got to do something. You're throwing our game plan out the fucking window here. Here we go. Round two is underway. The Beast's approaching this round with the right look. He looks to be in pretty good shape. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on! Wow, nice flush left hand. Now lay it on. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Big uppercut right on the mark. A well-placed left hand up top. That's what I want to see. Scored 
well up top. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by the Beast. The Beast's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. Right hand downstairs. Ten clicks of the top. Nice work on the right hand by the Beast. The Beast's right. inability to really step on that gas pedal to just be a little more offensive-minded is really catching up with him. That last round was unimpressive. It's just not his temperament, and you know what? I'm afraid it's not going to change right now. It's kind of like being in a room, being in a party with somebody, and you say, hey, come on, talk a little bit more. You know, everybody else is talking. It's just not his way. He's not a talker. This guy is not a busy fighter. You need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head more. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Nice job there, hooking to the body. To him with an uppercut. Oh man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. To the head he goes with a left hand. Solid uppercut. You gotta protect yourself. Halfway through this round. And that has some bite to it, that right hand by the Beast. Watch the hook. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Good job. Great counterpunch, and I loved how he moved off to the side and then landed it. Digs in with a left hand to the body. Don't let him get to you. Left to the body. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. And just like that, things turn around. A back and forth round. Both men have been rocked. This is what boxing is about. This is what battle is about. This is what human spirit is all about. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You good? You all right? Breathe. Well, Teddy's scorecard has him up around, but we're yet to get into the meat of the matter of this fight. <laughs> oh, he gets hit by a left oh, hand that he had no clue on. 
There's the headshot, but he parries it away. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Good way to protect the midsection. Watch that. Good step back counter punch there. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Carries that punch away. Oh, keep your feet moving. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Good flush shot upstairs. Didn't get it done going to the body there. The Beast is defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Very nice defensive guard there. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. That's it. Good left hand able to land. The Beast's corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to find change on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. It's okay. It's okay. I need you to move this round, all right? Move. Move. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now, he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. That right hand serving him well. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. cut right there he had no idea it was coming his way he does not look good at all coming to the end of round number five last ten seconds And this round comes to an end. The Beast's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just need you to focus and keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good, I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around. 
So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs Go a little bit, him. gave him some encouragement, good to go. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Well off the mark by the Beast from the East. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Look at that! Oh, the hook got to him! He is down! One, two, three, four, five! Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Body shot lands, it was the right. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're in control there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. All right. You want this fight? Because listen to me, man. You, if you want this fight, you got Let's go. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. We can recoup from that knockdown. Let's do it. All right. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that. No. Throw that away. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. Accurate with a straight left. Left to the body. Oh, what an uppercut. Now he ties up there. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Halfway through the seventh Coming round. Up. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. You're losing this fight. You gotta pick it up. You hear me? Pick it up. We got it. Okay. 
You can uh, throw him off yeah, with some head okay, movement. That's it. Throw him off with head movement. You don't need that. No, throw that away. I want you to use all that power and turn those punches over. Start from the bottom up. All right? Be bottom. You know, they call them the championship rounds for a reason, and we're not quite there yet. Just about halfway through this fight. Here, round number eight underway, and he's up on your scorecard, Teddy, but the toughest test is yet to come. Yeah, it's kind of like a doctor. You know, he's been working the rounds all day long, but now it becomes the night time. You know, the emergency cases are going to come in and stuff. Can he keep that concentration? Can he take care of the patients at the same level he did early in the day? The Beast is crushed by a right hand. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by the beast. Locks away that headshot. The Beast's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Nice block by the Beast from the east. The Beast is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Teddy, what advice would you be giving to this charge if you were training him, knowing he's coming off of a good, solid effort in that last round and likely is up in a close fight? Well, you know, sometimes I'm not sure what to tell a guy, but I know what not to tell him. I wouldn't tell him he's up. I wouldn't tell him to let up. That's one thing for sure. I tell him, keep doing the same things you're doing. Stay right with it. Beautiful. Lindissimo. Beautiful. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. It's almost done. You had him that round. I got more. All the eyes are on him to start this round. The beast, his legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. The beast's gaining momentum and starting to pour it on. Big, big shot he just scored with. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five, six. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Exchange was something special. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Nowhere close that punch by the beast. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. 
scored well up top. The Beast's flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gives you angles. He's flat-footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricycle all over the place, but you can step a little bit. Get out of range. He's doing nothing. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind them how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. Okay. That was a round. Now, listen, it's great. But you need to establish that jab, okay? When you get... As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Tonight. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. Big, big shot comes crashing home. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Two, three, four, five. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Yeah. Halfway through round 10. The Beast's defense is paying off now. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shot it. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this round. You gotta keep working. Keep working, okay? Keep the pressure up, okay? Got me? Come on now. How you doing? You okay? I need you to use your feet. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, let's go. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Come on. The Beast's proving that this is a tale of two fights as we start round number 11. Teddy, you have this fight even, but he's the fighter with all the momentum. Yeah, he's come on. Now, there's two questions here to me. It says he just keep going and just blow right past him because he's got everything going for him, or has he used up too much? It's going to be interesting to see. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered, that a guy who was just knocked down in the last round, now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? That tells me he's still hurt. <laughs> that tells me he's still a little drunk. Way through this 11th round. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. You could tell that he was nearly out of gas. So now, 
He's taking a little bit of a break. He's tying up. Hey, look, airplanes have to land. They don't keep flying. They land so they can get refueled. He's getting refueled here a little bit. But his opponent, he gave him a landing strip. He should not have. He should have made him crash into the mountains. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. <laughs> Protecting his head well with his guard. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're gonna have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is gonna wind up not standing at the end. Keep your distance, keep your hands up. You got that. You got it? All right, okay, good. Take a deep breath now. It's over. He's tight. Final round has arrived. Who wants it more? Teddy, I'm starting to wonder. What is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you'd tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. Solid. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. The fight is over. The beast is power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.